All right, you guys, back with one more Leonardo.ai video. In this video, I'm going to create some amazing looking images in the canvas editor in Leonardo.ai. If you're new to this channel, then visit my playlist section where I've covered everything from the basics to advanced techniques of Leonardo.ai. If you do not have access to Leonardo.ai, then click on the launch app by visiting the website and then fill in your name and email and then click on count me in. Within a few hours or a day, you will receive an email where you will get a link. So just click that link and you will get access to Leonardo.ai. Now let's get into the video. So you have two to three options to start generating and editing images. One is to go to the community feed and search an image from the liked section or the trending section. The second one is whatever images you have liked, you can go to the personal feed and click on liked images and come right here where it displays all the images that you liked from the community feed. I've liked this image so I just want to remix this image. So just click on remix. And now let's try changing the fine tune model and see what kind of an image does it generate. I really like both these images so I'm just going to save these images by clicking on this small arrow right here. And now let's go to the canvas editor. There are some new features in Leonardo.ai where they explain you all the features by giving these small text windows. So that is a nice touch. Now let's go to the upload image tab from a computer and bring both these images into Leonardo.ai. So click on these and click on open. And now we'll follow the same drill, just decrease the size of both the images. Now one thing I'm noticing in the images is that there is some text in the images that I do not want. It is very unwanted. So what I will do is I will bring the bounding box onto the text, click on the erase tool and increase the size of the tool and erase this part of the image. Now I will carry the bounding box exactly on top of this area by clicking on the snap button. And then I will try writing something like generate similar. And as you can see, it filled in the whole image with these options. This option is the most accurate. So I'm going to click on accept. Now I'm going to do the same with this image. As you can see, there is some unwanted text right here. So I'm going to go to erase tool and erase this part of the image and this part of the image as well. Now just click on generate. And as you can see, it generated this as well. So all you need is a very simple prompt to generate something similar or to correct some images. You do not need to copy the whole prompt from the original image. But in case you're not getting some similar results, then you can copy the whole prompt from the original image in order to get something accurate. You can also add a negative prompt from the original image to get something that is exactly similar or even better than the original image. Now I'm going to click on accept. Now I want to blend these images together so that it looks like one complete image. Now I only want this part of the image to connect to this image because there is already sun visible from this cave. So I'm going to click on the erase tool, increase the mask of the erase tool and erase this part of the image. And now let's place the bounding box on top of these images. And I've already written a simple prompt that is generate similar landscape and let's see what it comes up with. It was giving errors while connecting that image. So I brought in the whole prompt of the original image into this and then I tried connecting and I got this result. But now I need to erase the text again in order to generate something similar. So I'll click on accept and erase this part of the image. Now let's click on generate again. I clicked on generate once more to extend the image further and this is what it has come up with and I'm really liking the image. So I'm going to click on accept and then I want to generate further more. So I'm going to drag the image, the bounding box and then click on generate again. 
the result is coming out really nice let's see all the other options that are generated so i do not want this one not this not this i think this is okay so i'm going to click on accept now let's drag the whole canvas a bit down and i want to generate some cave further so i'm going to bring this bounding box right here and click on generate so these are all the results that it has come up with few of these results are not that accurate but i found one good result so i'm going to click on accept now let's complete the image by dragging the bounding box towards the left side and then click on generate again let's see some of the options that are available I think the first one was pretty good. Click on accept. And now let's complete the image by dragging it to the end and clicking generate. And this is our final image. So now to download the image just click on this download artwork option and your image will be downloaded on your desktop. After exploring the community feed for a bit I selected some images that I've saved in my liked feed. These are the images and the first image that I'm going to take into canvas editor is probably this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on download. Now I'll go to the canvas editor which is opened in the other tab. Click on upload image from a computer and then decrease the size of this image where I selected. Now in order to generate the similar image, I want to go back to the previous tab where this image was open and then copy the prompt from right here. Go back to the tab and paste the prompt in this section. Now you can change some key elements and keywords in the prompt in order to get your in order to get what you want in the image. First let's try generating the same image without changing any keyword. So just simply I'm going to try and click on generate. So I've already clicked on accept and then I want to generate this part of the image that is a bit similar to the whole image. So let's click on generate. And this is what the final part of the image looks like and it looks like a masterpiece. I'm really happy with this image. So let's decrease the size and let's think of something a bit more creative. Now let's try generating the other side of the image. I've changed few keywords in order to get a different results. Let's see what it comes up with now. So it generated a couple of images, but those images were not suiting or not exactly according to the perspective. But I really like this image. So I'm going to click on accept and do the same thing in this part. So I've selected this right here and I'm going to click on accept and just look at the final image. Doesn't it look amazing? I really like the final image. I'm just going to save the image for later use. As you can see right here, I somehow tried blending in these images. So usually when you try to blend in two different images, you will get a straight line in the middle of the images. But this time what I did was I clicked the erase tool. I erased some part of both sides of the images so that there is no reference for a straight line on the edge that is the boundary. So and then when I brought the bounding box on top of these two stones that is the concrete right here and the continuation of the house stone and then clicked on generate it created this kind of an output. Now let's take the bounding box in this part and try to erase this part so that it is not a straight line and then generate something similar but before that let's decrease the size of the whole thing and then increase the size of the canvas and now let's place the bounding box on top right here give it a good reference so that it does not generate a shaky image and then just erase some part of this and now let's click on generate and as you can see, it has generated something really very nice, which looks completely blended in. I'm going to click on accept and drag this whole thing on top.
to complete the image. One mistake that I did this time was that I didn't erase these edges using the erase tool. That's why it got these kind of results as you can see. So let's click on cancel and try erasing the edges of the image. And now let's see what kind of an image comes out. I'm still getting similar results that are not that accurate. So I'm going to click on cancel and then I'm going to drag this box right here so that it gets some more reference. And now let's click on generate. And as you can see, now it has come up with an image that looks a bit more blended in. So let's click on accept and then I'll complete the image. As you can see, this is the final image. And sometimes unexpectedly, you may create some amazing images that you may look back upon and think how you create it. So now if you do not like any part of the image, you can erase or mask the image. So you can click on draw mask and then just draw a mask on any part of the image. And then just drag the bounding box on top right here. And then just click on generate by changing the prompt a bit. Just write the keywords like concrete, rock or bridge. And it will perfect or it will correct that part of the image that you want. So this was it for the video. If you liked the video then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.